Yes, now family, I'm welcome back to another video on Jazza TV. This is an immediate reaction to Darren Till's fight. I'm not even going to mention who he fought because it's an absolute disgrace. Disgrace to boxing. Disgrace to Darren. Disgrace to my team, John and Declan, who's there in his corner. And also, Dubai. The people of Dubai. It's not their culture. It's, it's not the way they, they act. And I'm um, very, very sad to see somebody act like that. First of all, I seen the first scene of him was in the gym last week. Well, last week. Darren said, uh, it was Saturday night, Saturday night I was about to box. And Darren, um, the word came about from my coaches, Darren's taking a fight this weekend, you know, in Dubai. So, it was half unbelievable because it was so short notice. And we thought, well, who's he fighting? And Joe showed, showed me a, a video in the gym. <laughs> Joe showed me a video of the man and the man who was fighting. He couldn't even fight in MMA, and that was his discipline. So never mind boxing. And it was, wow, bloody hell, he is bad, he is shockingly bad. You can take a fight with someone like him last minute and, um, and get away with it. But he has been in the gym and he has been saying so he had not to lose. Um, the ring walk. I've probably never seen a better ring walk in my life. I never watched these um, influ influencer boxing. I never do, and I probably never will. <laughs> the first fight I've ever watched during this whole influence period because it's just um, things like this. As a professional fighter, it makes you it makes you question why why is it even going ahead? But then you see the money, the, what, what's involved, and then and then you understand. Yes, I know why it goes ahead. But anyway, most I digress. The ring walk. He came out with a gorilla mask on in a kid's car. Quite funny. <laughs> Yeah, but one of them. Um, four two minutes rounds, that's what I've seen instantly. Four two minutes rounds. Four two minute rounds, I've seen that instantly and I thought, bloody hell, what's going on here? I watched it as we was on the treadmill. And uh, four two minute rounds. Darren's bars, three minute rounds. What's going on there? Must be because your man's a little bit unfit. unfit. Commentary, diabolical. There was not a significant land, it only last 10 seconds, Darren lands a left hand. Commentator says, lovely right hand, something along the lines of bloody hell, this fella even know anything about boxing. And in the corner, they're commentating on about, the, they're making comments about how tired your man is. And, and it made sense, so that's why it's 40 minute rounds. But um, then, second round, Darren hits him in the clinch, back of the head, body shot. To make it clear for the people who are going to say, oh, it was a foul, people who don't follow boxing the truth is unless the referee calls it a foul and he ducks points it's not a foul and if he says nothing about it it's not even a warning so it's allowed you get away with so many of them but it's part of the game the rules are defend yourself at all times mma and boxing are different where you can punch in the back of the head yeah in mma is allowed and it can pass the air in boxing behind the ear behind the ear is and that's that's not allowed in boxing challenge it isn't behind the back of the head but only because your man was trying to clinch the little bit of scene of him in the mma fight all he did have was a takedown and that's probably why he's got so close down saying come on get off me let's fight we've only got two minute rounds here and uh your man found the world out the back of his head took a knee took a knee and curled up in a ball and pretended that he was injured Unbelievable, this is this people are paying for this. This man's being paid. I wouldn't be surprised because in professional boxing, you're not guaranteed your wages. Sometimes if there's a little bit of thing like this, could be a draw, could be a technical cut. People don't get paid, and that's that's happened in the past. When it's um when it comes to circumstances like this, when it's just too bad and it, you're taking the piss, you know. Promoters have been known to get away with deducting wages for things like this. I don't think your man should get paid. If I was a promoter. I, it'd be it'd be painful for me to to pay him after doing that and then immediately after the fight he gets up off the canvas and then he goes for the fight he just died didn't fight back and now he decided to cause a little bit of hype he's taught to see how many followers down until has got this is my moment to make myself a youtube star and a youtube success he approached down until down until hit him punched him with no gloves on <laughs> self-defense and then um, took another punch and then went for a bit of a grapple people jumped in the ring this is not the um 
etiquette of Dubai people. And it was sad to see, really sad to see these kids there, probably women there ringside for the first time. Kids are watching this. This is what goes on. And this is what people are going to see. Why professional boxers don't like this thing. People think that professional boxers aren't in on this thing because they're getting paid a lot of money. A lot of low-level fighters aren't. It's not it's because of this. They give boxing a bad name. They, they bring eyes to boxing, but they also give boxing a bad name because boxing's been affected by it because a lot of the promoters now have seen how much money is in this. I wouldn't even call it boxing, but now they expect fighters to act this way. But it's a little bit too far. One day one of them's gonna get hurt. One day these are gonna be real injury because these people aren't ready to have actual boxing fights. And, and this shit's gonna fall on boxing once again. That's my opinion. I'm all for a man making a few quid out of boxing. But this opponent, um, Darren Till has been saying like a real fight to this opponent just come in last minute and he wants to be a boxer and he wants to be famous and they need to have a, a little bit of a buzz around these charity, what are they called, not charity fights, uh, celebrity fights, what are they called, influencer fights and he needs to have a little bit of board to sanction people and to give it the go whatever some people because not everyone just like this man doesn't belong in there but it's a win for Darren Till, he's got his first boxing win great for him and most importantly he kept active he got paid and he gets to call out to him jake paul and whoever else he wants to fight next he was going to fight julio cesar chavez jr they're going to fight each other so set up a rematch up for him i'm all for it because Stalin seems like a real fighter jake paul seems like a real fighter cesar chavez jr seems like a real fighter let them men fight but these people, clowns, absolute clowns, getting in the ring. I won't even mention his name because he's not even worth. He's not even worth the sight as a boxer. And that's that. Um, yeah, I hope you like this video. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Have a nice day.